Hey guys, Ryan here. New Intervals album Circadian is out, and uh, this is a quick run through of the Marco Sfogli guest solo on string theory. It's in standard tuning, it's a lot of fun to play, and I don't have a tab right now, but if enough people want one, I can certainly whip one up and put it in the description. So drop a comment if that's something you'd be interested in. But uh, here we go, let's get into it. So uh, standard tuning, like I said, and uh, we open with this first line here. <laughs> This is uh, sliding up on the A and the D string on the 5th fret, 7-4 on the D, 7-5 from G to D, and 7-9 to nine slide on the, on the G. That's a 9-7-9 on the G. Quick slide down to 7-5 and five on the D. This is uh, sliding on the D string only. Seven to nine. And then I sort of descend from nine, seven, five, and four. You sort of have this pick, slide, pick, slide. That's four to five, grabbing seven on the G. And then five to seven, grabbing nine on the G. And I go up to the B string, 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10, uh, 10 on the high E, and then 7, 8, 9 on the G. And then I play this uh, sus2 triad, which is 10 on the D, 7 on the G, 8 on the B. And I let those notes ring out. Then we slide up to this um, tapping diminished arpeggio. This is uh, thir 13, 16, 19. And we skip a string to B and play the same frets. So completely ascend, completely descend, and then back up. Then when I get to here, I continue the same pattern, but I go to 14 on the G. 14, 17, 20. And again, skip the B string and go to the straight to the high E. And from here, I'm keeping my ring finger on 17, so that when I pull off of this tap, I can go straight into a 17 bend. Uh, these are all 16th notes, so slowly it sounds like this. We get a little like messing around. This is very finessey. Uh, the basic idea is uh, full bend on 17. Those are the notes we're playing with. But we get this. This is a little like Tom Mish style jazzy wiggle. We're sort of fretting a note and just wiggling uh, just over the, the either side of the fret there. Drop down to octaves here. That's a 5, 7. So 5, skip the D string, 7 on the G. This is an octave shape, and we're playing this pattern. It's 5 to 7, 10, 9, 5, 7, and up to 10 again. out of time, almost like a whole tone sounding run. Eight on the G. This is eight, nine, 11, 12. Slight bend. And then here you can go 12, 14, 12, 14 from the G to the B. Or you could go 12, 14, 16, 14. This is a uh, then we go up to uh, B string, 17th fret, full bend, release, 16 uh, on the G. And you can play this with the whammy like he does. I'm not very good with the tremolo bar, but he likes to use it for this part. We sort of dip it and then release it on 14. Uh, so again, that whole part. And 
this is um, all the way down to the low E string, the G here, third fret, three, five, seven, ascending, four on the G, three, five, seven, four, slide to five on the G. Grab this high seventh fret on the uh, E string with the hybrid break. And then and this is a 5-5, five, five, just like the intro, A and D. And then 7 to 9 on the D, quick slide. 9, 7 on G, 8 on the uh, B here. And then a quick slide, 8 to 10, and back to 8. And from this 8 here, sort of descend in this uh, very common sweep shape. So 7, 8, hammer on. 8 on the B. 7 on the G. Pinky on 10 on the B. Quick like finger change there. 10 on the B. Index comes up to 10 on the E. 12, 14. And we have this really cool descending run, and this is so from 14 on the E. I'm pulling off 14, 12, 11. These are all in triplets. So and I'm using my middle finger to bar the 12th fret for the B and the G. And my ring is grabbing the uh, 13th D. 11, 12, 11 on the G. Fourteen, thirteen, eleven on the D. Fourteen, twelve, ten on the A. Fourteen, eleven, twelve on the low E. So slowly. And we go into the final tapping sequence here. Twelve, fifteen, nineteen, twice. Skip a string to the D string. 12, 14, 19, so. I'm going 19, release, still holding that 14 there. 19, 17, 16. And this is 16. 16, 14, 12. 12, 14, 16 again on the G. So slowly. And after this uh, 12, 14, 16, I'm pulling off from 16 back to 12, 17 back to 12, 19 back to 12. And I finish on that string with a 14, 19. So. Now we're going 12, 15, 19, 12, 15, 19. And then back down through those final two strings. So again. And slide from this 12 to 15. 15, 19, 22. 15, 19, 22 on that B. Pull off to 19, and then slide up to 22 for the final bend. Let me finish with this uh, lick here. Uh, 17 on the B, uh, on the high E again. Uh, bend and release. 15, 17, 19. 14. 14, 17, 16 on the B, and then back to 14 on the E. Let me skip that B and go to the G string. 16, 17, B, uh, G, and D. 
15 on the A. 14 on the A is our last note, and again there's this sort of a dip into the last note. So that's it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll try and play it through really slowly. It's very hard to get up to speed, and he's incredibly clean, so bear with this slow take, but here we go. So, as you can see, not very good, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, I hope this was helpful. Enjoy.